Hey, you tourists, it's your boy Dominic. There's a back of the base of Chuck of the Deuces. I would do text, baby. Man, I dug us back. You know what it is. The only place, all the 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 place, all Only place you're gonna get it, only place you're gonna get it is right back at base. The trouble to do is how we do text baby. Man, I does back. You know what it is, know what it is, know what it is, know what it is. Real men rise up, fake men rise down. Real women rise up, fake women rise down. Right where I preach and preach on. And today's topic I'm gonna talk about is um, I saw your video, uh, brother. Uh, your name is Sean, uh, Sean, Sean, uh, James. It's 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 sad dysfunctional of uh, the state of black men, man. My and and and, and this is a for Harvey too for uh, fathers and sons. My response to those videos right there, you you can't help black men anymore. You can't help nobody. Period. Basically, you just need to leave it. Leave it. Leave, they're comfortable for where they are and how they are. Hey, I'm gonna say to this. There's a real reason why. And I'm not saying we all deserve this, but some of us is because we keep on. We keep on pushing people and, we, and we're, we're going to push a person too far. We de we need to know when to stop, because I'm going to tell you something. If I don't want to mess with that person, chances are I'm going to leave them alone because they might do something to me. See, they need to start thinking about that. But there are people out there that don't give a damn. You got white cats do the same thing. Asian, Latin. It's not just only black men. There, people just don't care anymore. You got women like that. Oh yeah, women like that. That's why I don't approach chicks like I used to. You can approach them, but it depends if they want to be bothered, and you just left them alone. Cause some chicks, they get fucked over by guys so damn much. They get to a point that they don't they can't trust no man at this point. You got men been fucked over by so many damn women. They get to a point they just can't trust women anymore. I don't think like that because I would tell it like this. There are great people out there. You just have to. It's hard to find, man. I believe this. If you got some good people around you, you're going to be you're going you're going to live more longer for a long time. But if you hang around with the wrong type of folks. You're not going to be around for a long time. Frankly, you're going to end up dead or in prison. But you know what? The reason why I'm showing this picture, I don't know what happened to us as black men. I just think to the and the point, we just don't care anymore. That's all. That's all it is. We have our moments. But we do need to start thinking about, and we are a threat because not just for the for the right reason, for the for the wrong reason. The right reason, reason why we're afraid is because something that we can do that no other race but way before or for us can do. And the wrong reason, because we, we, we cross so many people so much, it get to the point. These other races ain't going to stand for that. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I, I, I people need to think about. It. That's why I don't mess with nobody. I don't. I don't bother nobody. I left them alone. You just have to be careful who the people you socialize, who you socially do. Over here, live in an apartment. These these people out here who don't want to speak, and that's fine. They don't have to speak. I'm not mad at that, but I can go any other town. They can speak and wave and stuff. But over here, they don't speak. You know, it is what I, my mother do speak. She's from the country, so she she don't mind speaking. So that she said that's how they do it in their her her town. Her hometowns because she country and so is my father. You can't trust nobody no more, man. You just have to be careful, man. Cause there are people in a bad, stable state, man. They, and they are poison, man. These these fellas out of their damn mind and these women are just. Th th there are days when you meet a woman and you hold hands and and go places, but nowadays you can't even do that. Because dudes want to criticize you because they got men, because they have sex with every single woman they go after. I mean, 
I don't I don't get like, I don't get why people like that. I really don't but I I think I know why they do this. They do this because some of them don't have no seek, no love, no guidance, no no direction, no respect, nothing. I see why people like that. I see why people point guns. I see why people sell drugs. I see why people broken crimes. They don't even respect the Lord anymore. They don't care about that. They don't care about what's going on. Basically, just leave these people the hell alone. And anyone, you need to leave them alone. Because some of these people are going to hurt you, man. They're going to hurt you. If they ain't going to stab you or going to shoot you. And I'm very aware. You have to watch out who the people you socialize tie, who you socialize. It can happen to anywhere, even over there in the hood, the suburbs, the whole nine. You have to be careful. Even young people, young people are, are disrespect out of people. And some people, young people get disrespect by older people. But you got older people being disrespect by young folk, getting attacked, getting attacked for no reason. And these old people are not gonna go for that. It used to be it used to be a day that you could sit back and, and enjoy life, man. It's, it's now it's not. But we we got two choices, us as black men. We need to change, man. Because I'm gonna tell you, we need to be ashamed of ourselves for what we do in our society. But we, yeah, we claim we're the original man, but we we need to start acting like it. We, black men ain't, on, ain't come together unite. It ain't gonna happen. You got the house Negro, you got the field Negro, and you got the hybrid Negro. They ain't gonna never get along. If you put an African and African American and Black American, chances are they're gonna fight. And, and don't tell me. I know my people very well. We don't even want to come together with other people. So what makes you think other races is gonna come together with us? Our women hate us. They look at us like we're the enemy. They look at us like we're nothing. We're nothing. You know, I I, I, I don't get about that, man. I mean, we're, we're, we're you know we're, we're the laughing stock of the world, and we wonder why nobody can't take us seriously. Do you think the whole world want nothing? I'm, I'm afraid to. If we don't get get ourselves together. They gonna put up. They gonna put our ass in refugee camps, and I, and I thought about that all the time. I I do, man, cause there are days, there are days, and they gonna put white dudes out there cause they get crossed the line, and women too, and and, and children, even young people. They need to be careful who the people they're crossing at, cause there are some folks they're gonna mess with the wrong person, and they attack the wrong people. But the people that care about your care about your ass, you don't you don't care nothing about them. You like all oh, hell with them. But the people that, that that don't give a damn about you, those are people that you would love to do right by. I I never understand that why people do that. They'll do right for the wrong people, but the but the right people, they say hell hell with them. And that's just the way it is. You just have to learn to accept it. I'm very careful. As an age I am, 28, you have to be very careful of people nowadays. You're going to get caught up with the police. Police are already stressed out. They, I, I'm afraid police, they're going to mess around. And go, actually, chances are they already killed some people, got a few people out here. That's why police used to be bad. That MWA movie, I'm proud to see it, but then part of me saying, why should I want to be seeing a movie? The NWA did a lot of damage in the black community. Now, I hate to say this. I'm a fan of MWA, but some of the stuff they were doing, they should have said, you know what? We're not saying all of them because it's going to come back on them when they get older and they're going to say, damn, same thing, Marshall Madness. Look at the things he did. He disrespected his mother and his wife, regardless what they done. And I bet you Eminem looked back like, damn, what the hell I did to my wife and my and my mother? Just like his father. I mean, regardless, that's still your dad. I mean, people need to learn by their mistakes, man. I, I, I can't judge anybody because I don't want nobody to judge me. I'm not perfect, but I'm careful now because there are some folks, man, they're going to step in the wrong toe. I'm telling you right now. 
And I'm going to say this to black men. We need we need to be careful. And white guys, y'all need to be careful, too, because y'all going to mess with the wrong one. Asians, or, or any, even black women need to be careful who they who they who the people they, they step on the wrong person or white women. Any people need to be careful, period. They do need to be careful. Because chances are when you step on somebody's toes, they're going to crack the toes off of your off your feet. You keep you keep thinking that well, well they can't do anything. Even a quiet person will slit your throat before you ain't looking. I'm telling you, man, it's like me fighting supposed to be expression, but nowadays is it, it's unaggression. If one about kill somebody, want to hurt somebody. There are good there are good people out there, man. There are good people out there that do make a difference, that do aware. But there's some folks, the bad folks, they don't give a damn about nobody but them. You got bad people in every other nationality, every other race. They don't give a damn. And sometimes my own people, they can get out of line sometimes. They need to think about their actions because their actions is going gonna, is gonna to cause for some of the stuff they're doing. At least I learned, you know, they got to I turned 28. Because I open my eyes and I start realize, I start seeing what's going on. I wish I could live in a world I ain't got to put my hands on somebody. But nowadays you do because there are folks out here, but they, 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 they go too far. And when somebody get murdered or getting hurt, then people going to be teared up and crying and they should have said this. I'm telling you, man. For all you people, y'all got a family member or loved ones or a neighbor, whatever like that. Tell them that you love them because you never know what's going to happen to them when they got out of that out of that door. Because they could be dead and gone. But some folks that they just can't barely can't get along or they can't get along with you. That's just the way it is. It's always been like that. It's always have been like that. I don't fuck with ignorant ass people. From ignorant ass black person or ignorant ass white person or ignorant ass people, period. Even a female. You have to be careful who the people you're dealing with nowadays. So I'm going to say this to brothers and sisters, man. We we, we, need, we really need to get our act together. Because if we don't, then we're going to be finished. And, we are, and, and frankly, we already is. We're finished. The civil rights movement ain't doing a good job. The the, 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 the double ACP, whatever you call it, they ain't did a good job. None of this stuff ain't did, did a good job for our favor. And nobody did no good job towards other folks. You know, and I'm going to say it like this, man. You know, I got to take care of my brother and my mother and my dad at, at the same time. Because I'm going to tell you. There is no, where is the love? There is no love out here anymore. Is is hate, man, and I can sense that when people's sense in people's eyes and in their hearts and all that, there's a lot of anger towards people. They they need to ask what's wrong. I understand there are people out there are gonna hurt you, and they gonna continue to hurt you. That's just life. You have to learn from it. But don't become the more what you hate, because but the hate more of which hate what you more become. Chances are. You going to kill somebody or you going to hurt somebody? One of the two. And you're going to make your first murder case, murder, murder case, capital number one. I'm going to tell you, they're going to get tired of putting black men in jail. They don't really put them in torture camps, just like they did to the Jewish community, just like they did to the Japanese. If they think I'm lying, they they gonna not, they gonna think just tore them, beat them in the back. No, they gonna whip rip the flesh off they back, and that that's when they gotta wake up then. And they go and they gonna they really go hurt black women. They will torture them and cut they kick to cut their uh their uh clitoris. And it, 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 man, it, it's gonna be some sick stuff if we don't get it. We don't get it together. But frankly, I I doubt it if some of my folks gonna change. Why America got changed too? Because they do a lot of shit. What they do, and Asians, gays, everybody. We need to be careful. That's all I got to say. So, good video, and you're right. Don't worry about it, man. Don't don't let that get to you. Don't let that sweat you. Because there are some people who are like that, and I do shake my head sometimes when people are ignorant like that. That's just how it is.
Don't even waste your energy because it, 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 it's too much energy to bitch be waste on that nigga. Think, think ahead. Think positive, man. Things will get through, and will we'll, it, 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 it will get better for more greater. If you believe in God and anything, put your trust and faith in Him before anyone else. But there's some folks just don't give a damn anymore. They just don't. That's how people is. And people just have to learn to say, because you ain't got to worry about them because a lot of them going to be dead and gone anyway. Because some are going to need to put put some sense out of their damn heads or put some or put some or something out. Put it put 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 them out of the flame, out of the game, because that's how they are. So all I can say about that, we just have to be extremely careful because we don't be careful. And anyone else be careful. We're going to step into some wrong places and getting ourselves in the wrong, a wrong out of time with some folks. So make it the right suggestion at the right time. Don't make it the suggestion at the wrong time. That's all I got to say about that. It's your boy, Domination. This is Back in the Base. That you're going to do this is how we do text, baby. Until next time. All right. All right. Peace of the mind.